Welcome to the channel, friends. So today's video is going to be covering the Honeywell Home T6 Smart Thermostat. Now, this is a programmable thermostat, network thermostat, that's able to uh, connect to the Z-Wave network. I'm not going to go over that in this video, but I will be covering the manual overriding and the factory reset of this device, which seems to be the most common um, question and type of usage for these thermostats. A lot of people want to manually override the temperature just temporarily and things like that and want to reset the device so they can set it up for their home. So let's start off with the manual override of the thermostat. Now there's two ways of doing this. So the first way I'm going to show you how to operate this in a complete manual way, like as if it was a manual thermostat without a programming feature. Now you want to go ahead and click on menu and where it says schedule, which is your first selection, hit select and over here in the, in the right corner, you're going to see schedule on off. Schedule off now is going to turn this thing into a manual thermostat with no programming ability. So once you're back out of this screen, as you can see, the display changed. Now, it still operates in a very basic way. So you've got your heat cool and your auto and off. So the difference between this T6 and the T5 is that it actually has a automatic changeover setting or mode, as you can see right there, which the T5 doesn't. So I will go ahead and elaborate that in the next video, which covers the full programming. But just to let you know, there is a slight difference between the T5 and the T6. This being a Wi-Fi network capable thermostat. So that there showed you how to manually override and turn it into a manual thermostat. Now, what if you want to know the other way of doing it? So the other way is basically we're going to go back and just do the same thing. Hit select. Now we're going to turn a schedule on. Now, when we go to turn a schedule on, let's just back out of it. Okay. Now it wants to be programmed you know, and do your typical programming of the device. But if you want to temporarily override this thing, it's very simple. Just go ahead and adjust your set point. So we're in cool right now. So let's drop this below 73. So let's go to 70, right? So it says hold until 6 p.m. But if you click on that, now it gives you another option, whether you want a permanent hold or a hold until the next period, essentially, which is this selection right here. So if you want to hold till the next program time period, go ahead and, and click this one right here. But then that's automatically going to default to the, the actual run schedule that's programmed in the device. But if you want to permanently hold 70 degrees, like I just dialed in that set point manually, go ahead and hit permanent hold. Now this is going to permanently hold the, the set point of 70 degrees um, until you come and change it yourself. So this is good if you want to override the programming on the, the thermostat. And this is the most permanent method besides turning off the schedule like I just showed you in the first method. So that there, if you want to turn it back off and go back to something else, as you can see, it, you can just still adjust it to whatever you want. We can go down to 66 and it's going to do a permanent hold and it says cool on, which means it's working. Um, and if you want to like, uh, you know, go back to what you were doing, click on that permanent hold. And as, as you can see, it gives you the option now of doing hold until, or you can go back to the run schedule, like your, your default, your, your standard programming. So we're going to hit run schedule. And now it says following schedule and it's back to its normal program schedule and you can let it go. And, uh, until you feel like changing it again. So that is the two ways of manual overriding this thermostat. Very simple once you understand how this thing works. It really wants to be programmed to work properly. Um, but we will go over that in the next video. So the next thing I'm going to cover is factory restore. Now there's also two ways of doing this on this T6 thermostat. So the quick way of doing it, we'll go over in the menu and we'll scroll over to reset. This allows you to reset the schedule only when you're in the quick menu. So schedule, we're going to go ahead and reset that. Hit yes. Resetting. So right there, it only factory reset 
the schedule programming. Nothing else, though. So if you wanted to change any of the background parameters or settings, um, the ISU settings and things like that in the hidden menu, um, that did not touch it. So that only did what it said, the schedule. If you want to go a, a step further and do a complete clean wipe on the unit, a factory reset, you want to go ahead and hold the menu button down instead versus clicking it once. This will get you in the deeper menu and it'll allow you to have more options. So let's try that again. Let's hold the menu down. Okay, there we go. We are now in the device setup. Let's scroll over to the right. And now we have reset. Now, as you can see, we have factory or schedule. We just did the schedule. You already know now what that means. Let's go to factory reset, which means a clean wipe, clean slate on the device. So if you ever got this from a friend or off of eBay used where they might have had different configuration settings, you're going to want to do this the very first thing you do and set up all your your date, your time, and your factory settings um, from scratch, depending on what type of heating and cooling unit you have. So we're going to go ahead now and hit select. And it's going to do a factory reset. And it's going to completely wipe this thing clean as if you took it out of the package, as you can see. It says hello, and it wants you to go ahead and select uh, all the actual initial setup options. So we can go ahead and click through this just to, for the time being, kind of willy-nilly. But I will go over this in more de detail what all those ISU numbers mean. Um, I'm just not going to cover it in this video. So we're just going to keep on selecting through this and get past this. And that's essentially what you have to do when you first buy this device from, a, you know, straight out of the package. You will have to see that screen. And also, do you want to set the Z-Wave? Uh, no. I may go ahead and do a separate video on that. I don't think a lot of people are going to set this up as a network thermostat. Um, but I may go ahead and do a video on that if I think it's worth it. So as you can see now, we're back to the main screen. And um, if you don't know, I'll go over what the main screen is really quick. So we have our modes. On the T6, you have an auto changeover, which is your first one. Then you have heat, cool, and off. So the auto changeover essentially is that. It's going to automatically change over from heat and cooling as it needs. So when you have it, so when you have the set point, when you're adjusting it, it actually will allow you to do the heat and cool at the same time, which is something you're not going to find on, say, the T5. This only happens on the T6, the automatic changeover. So if you're in automatic changeover mode, it's going to flip and flop depending on the temperature of the house. Uh, that could be needed in some environments, but for the most part, most people don't need that, um, I tend to find. So, but you have heat, cool, and off. It's self-explanatory. Then you have fan. You have three options, auto, on, continuously, and circulate. Circulate means it, it kind of randomly turns on and off throughout the day. So you want to leave this thing in auto. That's what you want to leave it on. Uh, but if you wanted to circulate the house you know, the air in the house um, continuously, you would obviously go into on. And that will cut, well, that will turn on your fan and uh, leave it on until you come here and change it once again uh, back to auto. But I recommend leaving it on auto. That's where you want it. And um, let's go ahead and, and remove this, run schedule. And that's the main screen. So I hope that, that you guys um, got some good valuable points out of this video. I do have other videos covering the full programming, the ISU um, options in the events menu. I go over those as a list. Um, and also, uh, you know, covering other aspects of this. So I really hope you enjoy this video. And um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and do so. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.